All right, mate, how you doing? And welcome back to another episode of Accumulate. Now, last time, as usual, I took on FIFA at predicting the football results, but I also gave you guys a chance to take me on, and we can now see who did the best. So there you have it. Myself and FIFA drew with four out of the six results correctly guessed. You guys let yourselves down a little bit, if I'm honest. You only got two of the six, but you'll have plenty more opportunity in the future to make up for that. So now we've done two episodes of Accumulate for this season, we can actually start to put together a league table of how everyone's done. Let's take a look. You can see currently in bottom fourth place is Tiger the Dog, who got none of his predictions correct. He's got a zero percentage correct score. In third place is you guys, who got 33% correct score. I guess is you got two of your six right. And then joint top is myself and FIFA, both of which have got eight of our 11 guesses correct, which is about a 73% score. Obviously, I'll update that each episode. Now then, with this episode, again, I'm going to simulate this weekend's Premier League fixtures on FIFA 14, but I'm also going to take on a third person, a fellow YouTuber. His name is True Geordie. You must have seen his videos. He's a lad from Newcastle who loves talking about football, and he's got a gaming channel as well. I'll leave links in the description. And a lot of you have pointed out in the past when I haven't done every single game from the weekend's fixtures that I've missed out certain teams. Well, this time we're going to go for all 10 Premier League matches from this weekend, so we better smash through them quick. Let's start things off with FIFA's predictions of who will win and who will draw. Let's go. The first game was QPR v Stoke, and Peter Crouch, two metre Peter, heads it in the back of the net, puts Stoke 1 0 up. But then Charlie Austin hits a penalty for the hoops, and he scores it, making it 1 all and then QPR this is a nice move I've got to admit watch this right back heel from Much goes to Fur goes to Zamora rebound finishes by Leroy Fur the new signing and QPR take home the points according to FIFA it's going to be 2-1 to the Rangers Villa versus Arsenal now Villa trying to follow up that amazing away victory against Liverpool and Arsenal trying to atone for their embarrassing performance in the Champions League and Alexi Sanchez starts things off well with a goal for the Gunners and then Weinman goes down the side of the box hits it cheeky rebound for Obon Lahore and surely we're not going to see another rebound in this game after having two already maybe we are Welbeck hits it and the rebound is cheekily put away by Santi Cazorla with the chip Arsenal take home the points a very valuable away win for the title contenders according to FIFA Burnley versus Sunderland lovely little set piece here from Burnley look at that that's beautiful they go 1-0 up at home, but then Key puts the ball in for Sunderland. Turn a great header from Wickham, or is it Larson? I don't know who it is, it's one of them. I think it's Wickham. Wickham scores it, makes it one all. And then Jones passes to Barnes for Burnley. Oh, lovely finish. 2-1 to Burnley. Can Sunderland get anything back? Well, they're looking for something here. Jacarini down in the box. What's he going to do? He passes it in. Another shot, a goal. Sunderland have made it 2 all, and that's the way FIFA thinks it will finish. The points are shared. Okay, here's the true Geordies team in action, Newcastle, and they have not been playing well recently. FIFA seems to know that, to be honest, because Jelovic scores a lovely header, goes 1-0 up, and that's the way it finishes. Hull get the away win. So FIFA thinks Newcastle are going to struggle. Pardew you out. Hashtag it. Swansea Southampton, nothing between the two teams, no goals whatsoever. FIFA's predicting a boring 0-0 draw and one point for each team. OK, here's my boys. West Ham versus Liverpool. And it doesn't start off well for us. Sterling goes through and bangs it in. And we're 1-0 down. And this isn't looking good. However, then Marky Nobbs looks for Enna Valencia, who scored a banger against Hull in the week. And Stuart Downing puts it into an empty net. That is two episodes in a row that FIFA's predicted Stuart Downing to score. And that's against his old club as well. Here's a great knock from Alex Song. Through to Jarvis. What can he do? Matty Jarvis finds Valencia. Can he make it 2-2? Two two? He does. We've gone 2-1 up, boys. What is going on? FIFA's doing me some favours. However, Gerard puts it in to Balotelli, who scores, and we concede, and it ends 2 all. And to be honest with you, I'll take that result all day long. FIFA's thinking we'll draw with Liverpool. Yes, please, mummy. OK, Leicester versus United is going to end in another 0 0 draw. That will be very disappointing for LVG, considering the new sign ins, but FIFA thinks it will be 0 0. Next up is Spurs West Brom, and again, we've got another 0 0, another draw predicted. And nothing really happens in that game, according to FIFA. Everton versus Palace. 
is a shock result. Wilfred Zahar has returned to the club. He's got the ball here, gives it to Joe Ledley, who puts it away. And Palace take the lead away from home against pretty much everyone's prediction of what will happen in this match. And that's how it finishes. FIFA thinks Palace are going to shock the world and beat Everton away. And the final game is a massive one. Man City versus Chelsea. Whoever wins this could win the title, but no one wins it because it's another 0-0 draw. One point each. FIFA thinks that's what will happen. Now it's time for my Northern counterpart, the true Geordie, to have his predictions. Take it away. Thanks for having us on, Spence, mate. My predictions kicking off with QPR versus Stoke. QPR being terrible lately. I mean, did they even want to be there against Man United? Stoke, on the other hand, pretty well organised, being unlucky not to get the rewards. They've got the bean pole up front, Peter Crouch. How did he pull his bird? Can I just ask that? I think, I think we all know. But anyway, I think they're going to get the win in this match and finally get the rewards for some decent play. In the next match, it's Villa taking on Arsenal. Villa have been well organised. They've got Roy Keane there now, finally drilling the team tactically. You've got Arsenal all over the shop. Mesut Ozil on the wing what the fuck honestly I can't understand it but I think that Arsenal are going to have just enough quality to get a draw despite some pretty average performances lately in the next match it's Burnley taking on Sunderland two pretty poor teams I think it's just going to be a draw cancel each other out in the next match Newcastle taking on Hull my team and I think we're going to get beat we've been absolute garbage lately and I'm just hoping that one good thing comes of it Alan Pardew Get sacked. We're going to only hope, mate. In the next match, it's Southampton taking on Swansea. And I fancy a draw in this game. Two very good teams in form. I think they're going to cancel each other out a little bit. In the next match, it's your team, the Hammers, West Ham. I think you might want to watch your other team, Oviedo, this weekend, I think it is. Because I don't think West Ham are going to have a good weekend, mate. They're being bad in defence. You've got Sterling coming into this game. And I think Liverpool are going to get the win. In the next match, it's Leicester taking on Manchester United. Man United with Falcao, Di Maria, Rooney coming with a lot of quality. Leicester have been very well organised. They've got Yejua, who's been brilliant lately. But I think Man United are going to have a little bit too much. In the next match, Spurs taking on West Brom. Spurs have been very good this season. Just haven't got the rewards a lot of the time. And I think that's what's going to happen in this game. Spurs win. In the next match, Everton taking on Crystal Palace. Lukaku finding his feet. What a striker he's going to be. And Palace... Brace yourselves because I think he's going to score this weekend. I'm going for an Everton win. And last but not least, Chelsea are going away to Manchester City. Biggest game of the season so far, no doubt about it. Diego Costa on form. I'm going for a Chelsea win. Back to you, mate. OK, so we've heard from FIFA. We've heard from the true Geordie. Now it's time for my predictions. I'm going to agree with my Geordie pal and say that Stoke are going to beat QPR even though they're away. I think QPR have not looked good so far. I think Arsenal are going to get an away win against Villa. I think the Burnley Sunderland, I'm tipping Burnley for a home win. Come on the Burnley boys. Newcastle Hull, I think we're all in agreement here. We all think that Hull are going to get an away win. Newcastle have been poor. Swansea Southampton, I'm going to go for another away win. I think Southampton could do it. West Ham Liverpool, unfortunately, as much as it hurts me to say this, I can't see us getting anything here. I think Liverpool have got a point to prove they're going to get the away win. Leicester Man U, another away win for Man U. Spurs West Brom, I'm going for Spurs. Everton Palace, I'm also going for Everton, another home win. And finally, the big game, Manchester City versus Chelsea, I think will be a draw. The predictions are in. They've been logged and filed in the Accumulate database and in the next episode we'll be able to see how we each got on in the 10 match predictions and we'll add it all to the league table. Leave a comment below with any feedback you've got for the Accumulate series, anything you'd like to see. What other YouTubers would you like to see me take on at Predicting the Football? I'll see you on the next one. Don't go changing.